Hey, what's going on, fellas? This video is for Ben in Nigeria, who's interested in converting his 60,000 watt electric heating system for a diesel system. He's running some type of industrial dryer that dries some type of grain product, and they're trying to lower cost. I don't know what the design of your electric system is, but um, can definitely have an effect on the efficiency. So what we're going to take a look at here is a special nozzle that I've developed that runs on an extremely low amount of air. Right here we are looking at 25 PSI's of air pressure running 120 kilowatts of power. A little bit over that actually. If you can see we're just over 200 milliliters a minute. I'm going to turn it down for a second here to kind of heat it up. I sprayed a little too much fuel in there in the beginning and I want to burn that out of there. So just to show you the turn down rate, this thing can be turned down to very low. That's 120 kilowatts again. I'm going to turn it down to about 90 kilowatts here in a second. I just wanted to show you guys how large of a flame we can get out of this little air compressor. That was about 90 kilowatts. You can see the pre burner is doing really well at that rate, getting a good flame. No major problems there. It still hasn't heated up all the way just yet, but uh, extremely low amount of air. I've never been able to do this before, and the secret is in the nozzle. Very hard to, to fabricate this nozzle due to the tolerance that's required, but um, this is not the combustion chamber I'm interested in setting you guys up with. This I have not yet built the combustion chamber. Um, we're just using the baby dragon here to kind of showcase the nozzle's capabilities and seeing as how the main subject of our discussion here is air pressure and you guys being worried about being able to supply constant air pressure. One piece of advice is, is we have to get an oil air compressor. An oil free air compressor is just not good for 100% duty cycle. I've run them things on job sites before. You'll be lucky to get a year out of it, whereas an oiled air compressor, you can get a lot more. There's about 90 to 80 kilowatts again. So there you have it, Ben. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. I am going to do another video for you guys. I just wanted to give you something to look at to kind of relieve you, letting you know that we can pull this off with a very low amount of air. You don't need some big massive air compressor to do this. We just got to design a heat exchange that's efficient enough for the 80 kilowatts you requested to do the same job as 60 kilowatts of electrical energy. That may be wherein lies the challenge.